3.3 example three is I really love this question because it wants us to kind of double check some of the work we've done before. Um, and I'm just going to do it right away. So for part B from 3.2, we talked about that if we look at standard form, which is AX squared plus BX plus C, and we want to compare it to A times X minus P, this is vertex form squared plus Q, then what we can actually do, and again, go back to 3.2 if you don't remember this, we can say that the P parameter can be found by taking whatever B is and dividing it by negative 2A. You can put the negative on the B, it wouldn't matter. Now, what this question wants us to do is it wants us to confirm that we would get the same thing if I use the technique in B or the technique that we're going to use in A. So while I'm here, I'm going to figure out what P should be. And if we look at that equation, the B parameter in standard form is 30 divided by negative 2 times the A parameter, which is 5. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. 30 divided by negative 10 is negative 3. So when we are, and we'll do this right away here, in part A, converting this into vertex form, we should expect our p-value to be negative 3. Now, I would like to reiterate that what that means, without knowing what a and q are, we should expect to have a times x plus 3 squared plus some q-value. Right, that's what we've predicted using, and I'll just write 3.2 up here. That was the technique we talked about in 3.2. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the 3.3 technique, which is the completion of the square. So if I look at A, and I'll write it again here, it's Y equals 5X squared plus 30X plus 41. Very similar to the previous examples. I'm going to factor that coefficient out of any term that contains an X. So I'm left with this. And within the bracket, and I want to get to, to the point where this is a bit more systematic. So because this is x squared plus 2bx, what I'm going to square is I'm going to take the number in front of the x, the coefficient of the x, which is 6. I'm going to divide it by 2. That gives me the b parameter. And then I'm going to square it. Now, I have to make sure I subtract that as well. And if you look back at the previous examples, oh, I don't know how that cube snuck in there, that I've been showing what I'm doing within the bracket now, kind of on the footnote on the top right. Every single time we took whatever the coefficient was on X, divided it by two, and that's the number that we need to square to make that a perfect square trinomial. Now, within the bracket, we'll do a little bit of work kind of here. Six divided by two is three. So I'm going to have Y equals five times X squared plus six X plus nine minus nine plus 41. I'm going to get that negative nine out of the bracket so I can factor. And I do that by multiplying by the number in front of my factored expression. So that's positive five for this question. That gives me that y is equal to five times x squared plus six x plus nine minus 45. That's negative nine times five plus the 41 that was already there. And now I can factor my perfect squared trinomial. It's going to be five times x plus three squared minus four. Now, I'd like to point out that this gave us what we predicted. And the formulas for, uh, I, I put the formula for P up there. Let me put the formula for Q as well. Um, if you look back again, this is all kind of going back to our 3.2 section. We were told that Q can be found by taking C and subtracting AP squared. Again, that's from 3.2. That works as well. And I'd like to quickly just show that if we did try this, my Q parameter would be the original C, the constant, which was 41, minus A, which was 5, times P squared, which is going to be positive 3 squared. That means that Q should be 41 minus 45. So Q should be the negative 4 that we got through our completing the square technique. It's really important that you don't only use the 3.2 techniques. You want to make sure that you push that concept with the completion of the square because it is a skill you need to cultivate, um, not only you know because of 3.3, but it is something that we do a lot of similar things in 30-1 math as well. So it's very, very important that you're able to follow this technique and uh, basically you know complete the square and switch from standard form into vertex form.